first e-bike kit. I'm fitting it to this. It's Yossi Power, bought in November 23. It's a 700c front wheel. So it's 622mm front wheel. So the motor's on the front wheel, so that'll go there. I'll need to take the disc brake off and put it on this one. But if you get V-brakes, you don't need to put a disc on it. You can just, you just use your V-brakes. In the UK, the current law is a 250 watt motor maximum, which is this one is. That's continuous, so you can actually, it can do higher wattage on that, but continuous has got to be around 250. And whatever they say in the adverts and on the, itself, that'll be the continuous one, 250 watts. That's the legal maximum in the UK. The battery is 15.6 amperes. This is an integrated controller, so you don't need that sort of silver box you usually see. Let's get the pins here. That sort of slides in. That goes where your bottle cage is. So, and you've got a few cables hanging at the back. It's got good details underneath. I would take a photo of that or write them down because I think this is going to get really manky underneath. The pedal assist sensor will go there on the non chain side, somewhere like that. It's got a 6 km per hour thumb throw, which you put on the handlebar. I'll put it on there or something. But with this, I'm still not sure if this is legal in the UK. I think it is because it only goes to 6 km per hour. And it's meant for a standing start and for maybe for people that can't pedal that well, that sort of stuff. So I think it's legal, but I'm not sure. Only because it's six kilometers per hour maximum. And there's two brakes with brake sensors. Put these in the handlebars. The only reason you're putting them on is so that when you brake, you cut out the, the battery, you know, just so that you're saving energy, really. I wasn't going to put these on, but I'm the, plus the display on the handlebar somewhere. That's like five settings, I think it's got. Five speed settings. And it comes with a light, front light, but I won't be fitting that. This is 30 lux. Allen keys, crank tool for the crank. Very useful. These three things, I think they're brackets for the battery. I don't know how you put them on yet, but I feel that they'll be useful. I'm able to stabilize, stabilize it, you know, on there, but I don't know how to do it yet. I think these are fuse boxes, but I don't actually know. And keys for the battery to lock and unlock. And a 42 volt battery charger, I think it's 42. And a free bag. I thought this was just a free bag because you didn't need it anymore, but I think you might need it for your cables. You don't need it for the controller, but for cables, possibly. So the battery will fit on your bottle cage screws. But what I've noticed, I've already tried this, it seems very tight down here. And actually you can buy a buy a bracket on the Yossi Power website. That'll probably I mean you can bring this further up. But what I've also saw is uh, two people, I've saw two videos where people have put it upside down. And I tried this already because it, at first I thought that was a way to do it. Because it fits all right. So you could probably fit it like that if you wanted to but I'm probably going to get the bracket long term and that means I'll be able to move the whole thing up and I'll be able to fit it the correct way but from what I've seen you could fit it that way because uh, I saw two good videos where they fitted that way it'd be great if you could fit it there or something you know maybe I don't know what I don't know another point I want to make about this is when I heard the Yossi Pearl this, I thought this was the biggest one, 15.6 amperes. But it turns out, if you go to the Yossi Power website, it's not the biggest one. They've got one at 20.5 amperes, which is a sort of triangular one in a bag. I think you'd sort of fit it here. It's in a waterproof bag, and it's kept on the Velcro on your thing there. But they've also, on the Yossi Power website, they've got another one that's even bigger. It's like 21 amperes. And again, it's in a bag, a waterproof bag with velcro straps. To me, it looks like you put it around here. I think it maybe had something that came down here, which is too wide a gap for mine, but I would maybe even risk it. If I had known about these batteries, I'd have probably bought them 
one of them. They don't come as part of a kit though, but the, the wheel kits, you know, when you if you bought a wheel kit and you bought that battery, say the 20 amp hour one, it was working out at £415 or something, so it was a, nearly the same as what I've got for this kit. And you were getting the controller with the with the wheel kit, so I don't think these batteries had an integrated controller. In fact, they probably don't because there's no way you could, not unless they put it along there or something, but I don't think they had a controller, so you would need to have another little bag here or something. But to me, it looked better, just the fact that it was Velcroed on here. That's if it, you've got enough space here and also as long as it's not flapping about or anything, you know. But that's something to consider if you look. They're not part of the full e-bike kits, but if you check the Yossi Power website, it's really worth looking at because they've got lots of accessories. They've got four types of pedal assist sensors in case the one you're supplied with doesn't fit. You'll need to pay to get that, but... And like I say, you can get a bracket as well to move this up, basically. But uh, it costs £17, including VAT. I don't know about shipping. And that'll come from China, so that'll take about 30 days or something. Alright, okay, let's get started. This is probably a bad idea in case I do the thread in, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, it's definitely coming. Please don't damage it. I like this bottle cage, you know. Actually, I mean to check the front wheel fits first, so I'll do that now. Actually, I think it, it's game over for me. The skewer's too thick. It won't go through them with fork for fixings. So, uh, at the moment, it's looking as if I'm finished. I think this thing's too thick. I think it gets through. Just won't fit in my forks. Apart from that, it looks as if it would have fitted all right, just. But uh, I don't think you can just take these off and put different skewers in. So I think that's me finished. Game over, really. Oh well. Just as well I've done this time before putting all the other stuff on. I don't think there's any way that's going to fit in there. So, I'm forked. So, either I'll need to get a new fork or just send it back. I think I'll probably send it back. That's just one thing I didn't foresee, you know. I foresaw a few things, but not that. So, be wary if you've got road bike type. One of the other ones had a road bike and he fitted it so I'll, I'll take another look. I think he was using a rear one though, a rear wheel. I'm guessing they mostly use mountain bike standards probably for these sort of things, you know, because I think mountain bikes are more popular, or a mountain bike type bike. So as you've got a road bike and you're looking to buy a front wheel, this might be an issue. I'm guessing that's a standard road bike because I've used different skewers with it and it's always been alright so uh, yeah well, it looks as if that's me done for anyway apart from that it looks like it was going to fit oh well that's 100 millimeters across in there Well, there's nothing I can do with that, I think. Alright, I think that's me done for. So, if you've bought a Yossi Power or you're buying one, make sure it fits these fork things. If you've got a road bike type fork at the front, it may not fit a front wheel type motor because it'll be too too wide. So, um, I don't know. It'd be great if they'd just tell me just to put in another skewer or something, but I doubt it. It's all over, apart from the thumbnail. Just a quick video to say, if you've bought a Yossi Power front wheel 700C, that's 28 inch, and you're putting on a road, type, road bike type fox, it might not fit. The skewers might not fit because they're very thick 
and I don't think it doesn't look as if you can swap them and they just won't fit because they're too thick well that's what I think anyway I'll keep trying but I don't think there's any way that's going to fit it's alright for width and that but not for getting in there the fork I don't think you can just swap these for things because they seem fixed on and it's probably to take the weight and everything so uh, if you've got a road bike and you're thinking of putting 700c front wheel on be wary because uh, if you've got these I'm guessing these are standard for road bikes this is a decathlon bike I'm guessing uh, you might have an issue because I don't think there's any it doesn't even fit without the screws off there and you can't take that out it's fixed so road bike people, be wary, all right? Seems to fit all right for wood, but not for slotting in. I think that the, usually the, the, the makers go by mountain bike standards. That's my guess. I'm guessing there's probably two standards, road bike and mountain bike. I put my old wheel back on. I could buy a new fork, I suppose. Because this will fit a 700c wheel, but it's the, the skewer. So maybe if it says 28 inch, it's meaning mountain bike standards. And mountain bike standards skewers are maybe thicker and the fork. But where it fits a thicker. So if it says 28 inch, it probably won't fit a road bike. The skewers. Or maybe not. I don't know. Because normally you could just take the skewer and put another one in, but you can't e-bikes it seems so maybe that's what to look out for if it says 700c or 622mm it means it will fit a road bike <coughs> fork but if it says 28 inch it's probably meant for mountain bike forks even though the of this it fit the skewer didn't fit it was too thick so a hundred meters fork to fork is maybe a standard that they all go to with the width of the skewer. Maybe this is meant, maybe they're different for mountain bikes and road bikes. Mountain bikes being thicker. This is called an axle. I've been reading and people on forums are saying either you should file the axle. It seems to be quite a common problem. File the axle or file the dropouts of the fork. Here's my fork dropouts with the original wheel. So maybe I'll have a go at filing. I don't think I've got a file. And this is carbon as well, so I might buy a cheap fork or something. With, I don't know, but I think it's quite a common problem. The axle will be too thick to fit the dropouts. And at the moment they're saying do a bit of filing, but I don't know. Not Yossi Power, I've not spoke to them yet. I've been looking about online and it seems this is quite a common problem and what most people do is suggest is to file the dropouts. These are 9mm standard usually. So uh, I'm probably going to file these, probably just a millimeter. But it's a real shame because these are carbon. And another problem I've seen people mention is that when they put the heavy motor wheels on, their lugs break. I mean these things here when they're out cycling and it can be even the first time they go out in a cycle so I'm not sure that this is meant to deal with that sort of weight because my wheel here, this is my normal wheel, that's only about 500 grams even with a tyre on or 600 grams whereas my my wheel, motor wheel is like 3 kilograms or yeah, three kilograms, and that's not even with a tire and stuff. So, I'm not even sure that I can cope. Although it's carbon, is that stronger than aluminium? I don't know, but apparently dropouts standards like nine millimeters. So does that mean that every single person is who's buying an e-motor front thing may somebody file their things? Surely not. I don't know. Why doesn't there some sort of standard here? 